is there a way to build it and test it on the project link before you even touch it? Yeah. So you don't build it, uh, Lojack. What you do is you check it out. So what you do, like we're on the this one, let's say we wanted to look at add toggle tweak button. What you do is come over to here and you switch to the PR branch. So what this does, when we click on it, it switches it to PR 1434. And then from 1434, we are now live with all the changes that he made. Let's take a quick peek at this PR because this is what we checked out. It does look like it's a pretty big PR. We have a toggle snap flyout. That looks interesting. We have a new function in Voggle, uh, invoke when you till snap flyout. This looks good. Disable snap assist flyout on startup. Okay. What else is it doing? It's adding it over here. And then adding here, uh, input example, stack orientation horizontal, snap assist flyout. If enabled, then file extensions are visible. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like a very interesting commit. Everything looks good from a code perspective. He's putting in the test branch. Uh, fundamentally, this looks like a solid, a solid one. So if we come over here, you can see we're on PR1434. Let's run, well, let's do a compile first. And then we're going to go win util. And now let's see what this does. Can we notice any difference? Does it, it still does some snapping, it looks like. Let's see. What exactly does this do? What is it doing exactly? Input XAML, toggle show extension. So that would be the tweaks page. So under tweaks page, Snap Assist Flyout. Okay, it's this right here. So it's just adding a new toggle for it, which is fine. So if we disable that, it looks like it closes and relaunches Explorer. Huh. When you hover over the Mac... Oh, that's what it's doing. So this is what it's doing right here. And... If we come over into here, let's go tweaks, let's disable it, and then restore down. Ah, okay. I like that tweak. Well-programmed. It's a little more obscure, but I like how it was programmed. I like the commit. I like the PR, very clean. I just didn't know what the hell snap assist was. It was just adding this. So with it enabled, you get this. With it disabled, it'll just say restore down like the old school way of doing things. I like it. A very solid PR. I'm going to pr prove that. Um, what we could do, can we... Uh, da, 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 probably the best way can... We just take a snip of that. Put that in here and just say, approved. All right, we'll accept that. Bam. Easy. And squash and merge. I'm down to four now. Yeah, some people like it. I don't know if I use that ever. Because I, I like traditional snapping. Like, just give me a half snap. Um, or sometimes I like to do it something like this with the fancy zones kind of set up. Where you can kind of just uh, change like this with holding shift and using fancy zones from Power Toys. Uh, so this way where you're like, hey, give me 60% of the screen and then 40% here. It's just like a different way of doing it. So you have your traditional snapping. You have uh, like Windows key with arrows that you can do. So let's uh, let's give an example of that. That just shifts it around the screen. You can shift that up, minimize, maximize, uh, do that all with arrow keys. You can do snapping with just taking this and tossing up there or to the side. You can do the fancy zones with the shift and you, you can obviously do this differently. Or you could do the snap fly out assist with this 